Hey everyone. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's it's late. Um, it's Saturday, and I'm still here, and I'm kind of like I spent the night at the park. <laughs> yeah. They said, hey, it's safe. Everybody's been doing it for like a couple, three months. In fact, one guy's been doing it for a couple years. They just there's an RV park over to the side where they actually um. They park their rigs. They look like fifth wheels and regular RVs, and they probably look old. And what they did was they decided they're going to park them, and they live there. They've got plants growing and everything. It's really strange here. So, um, shout out to Craig. Hey, my hair is like sticking out all over again because you know what? The wind is fierce out there all day. It's been fierce for two days. And um, I did comb my hair twice today, but I thought I'd get a video again. And whoo! <laughs> yep, I, I stuck my finger in a light socket. And then I got in here and my fairy lights went out. The Let's show you. Right here. It's a short in it. Mm. You know, they're like $15 and I don't know. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> I was outside all day today. This is the first I've been inside my van, and that's unusual. Got my got my library glasses on. Um, it's it's incredible around here. Yeah, um, actually, it'd be lighter if I had better lighting. But I know it seems like my videos uh, are getting worse quality as I go here. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm just trying to get them out. I've been so kind of busy, and but I do want to get them out and and talk about you know what like what things are. There are these seeds coming off of a tree, and they're banging on my van. I'll bet I've got paint missing up on top of my van. Um, I don't know what the trees are called, but uh, they've got these big and they got little spiny things. Uh, the first day I came here, they're cotton, cotton trees, and it's just like, it looks like it's snowing, you know, they're just blowing all over the place, so. Okay, um, today, I slept here last night, felt totally safe, there's a, there's a, um, there's a camp, a tent camper, you know, the kind they pull out in the sides and they sleep on the sides, I mean, it's this far from my van, there's a couple, they're, they're just, it's cute as buttons. They, they're, they're living right there in a parking lot of a park. <laughs> That's Nevada. Everybody's walking around smoking pot. You know, I mean, seriously. Um, I don't smoke pot. I don't drink and I don't smoke pot. But I swear, I, I think I'm inhaling some of it every once in a while. But there's so many people here. And, uh. And because pot is legal in uh, Nevada, everybody's just smoking it. Actually, I asked, I go, was it legal just to walk around and smoke it? And they go, well, actually, no. Um, you got to do it like in your house or whatever. I go, was it, is it okay to smoke and then drive? And they go, no. So, you know, I mean, they're still doing it illegal. <laughs> Give them an inch, they take a mile, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, um, oh, look at this hair sticking out. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Cowlick here. <laughs> it's for you, Craig, okay. Um, okay, what else? I know you're gonna get a chuckle out of this one. And I hope all the rest of you too. I know if I stand I mean mm, this. There we go. Now I can knock set up. Um So I got up and um the other guy parked over me, his name's John. He yes, he actually moved his truck a little bit over so we have some space, but not enough that a car can pull in. So I could actually, this morning, I pulled out all my bins here, and I pulled them out and shook everything. I actually went through stuff. I actually got out my 12-volt um, my um, vacuum, hand vacuum, and I vacuumed my carpet underneath there. I haven't done that in a long time, so I got that done. I just... I've been misreorganizing. I just like, oh, well, this would be better here. All of a sudden, all these ideas have been coming to me. I feel secure here. I actually feel comfortable here. I haven't seen that much of Reno, but I love it already. 
But these people are so interesting. So then I made another cup of coffee after I got all done with this. And it got to be around like 10. Made another cup of coffee and went and sat over in this one area. Um, there's a little picnic area with a little gazebo and everything. And um, and I said, so this other guy came on. He's like a Harley guy. He Now, he's a nomad, and he's doing it right. He just got back from Montana. And, um, yeah, he's got a Harley, too. He's ready to go. He's, he said he's actually traveled back and forth like seven times across the country in his lifetime. Um, but And sometimes he does it on his Harley, and uh, he's about ready to ooh, ooh, get it out of storage. And, and uh, he's a cool dude, very cool dude. So we talked a long time. I had my speakers going out there. We were like, what do you want to hear next? And so we were out there. I was out there dancing a little bit. <laughs> had my soul. My solar was the big thing. I had to be out there. And I think I pretty much got things kind of powered up. Uh, tomorrow's going to be the Jackery. I want to get that really up. It's only got to 67. It's so slow. It's like baby steps getting that thing up. So I want to get everything uh, powered up. So talk to him. Then around that time, some other people came, and they started, they woke up, and they started barbecuing. So I kind of moved my stuff over, because they use lighter fluid, and uh, Adam's kind of, uh. So I got my blanket on, did some yoga, and then all these other people came around the blanket, and we started talking. So I'll, I'll include some videos. In fact, I'll leave this kind of short, and I'm going to include some videos of, it's called, um, Truckee River. It's T-R-U-C-K-E-E -E River. It's a big deal. It's a river that flows down from the uh, Sierras, uh, Sierra Mountains. They call it Sierra Nevada because it's on this side. And then right over is the California side. But it's water that's melted and it's flowing down. And it flows into the Pyramid Lake. And somebody here was telling me that there's only two, two lakes that do not eventually run into um, the ocean, the sea. And one is, and this one's one, and another one is like in Russia. So I was like, oh, okay, that's pretty interesting. Um, Reno, it looks huge, but Reno only has like 350,000 people. I, that's kind of shocking. It's like, wow, because it looks so much bigger. Um, I'm just going to say really nice people, but it looks like a lot of stoners too. And, um, yeah, <laughs> a lot of stoners. And, um, yeah, people drink around here, too. But I'm having fun um, hanging out with these different personalities. Oh, yeah, there's some undesirables. I, I hear way down at the end of the river there's some even some meth heads that kind of hang on down there. But I don't go down there. Um, it is safe here. I mean, there's so many people here who spend a lot of time here, really good people. And, like, John's a really, he doesn't drink, and he does yeah, he's a really cool dude. Um, he's got a truck, and uh, uh, there are really some uh, very kind souls here. And it's sort of a communal thing, which I'm just enjoying. It's not going to be forever, but I'm enjoying it for right now, and I think it's kind of fun. Because when I was in Tucson, I mean, I was kind of alone. Yeah, I did talk to a lot of people at the park where I was, but... I mean, it was not like here, you know, this is like, it's like communal food, people like, okay, well, I got some chicken, let's put that on the grill, and, and do you want some chicken, and, and, um, they actually did some ribs, and they had some burgers going, and, um, I just didn't want to eat too much, I'm having so much fun, I'm so, having so much fun, that I've kind of lost my appetite, you know, when I get all excited, I kind of lose my appetite, so maybe I'll take off some weight or something, uh, <laughs> I'm being silly. I, I'm being silly. It's fine because my hair's sticking out. Craig. <laughs> I know. Look at this. Well, okay. Let's face it. I don't have a shower here. I don't have a shower. I left a Tucson. The showers were available in Planet Fitness. There ain't no showers going on here. So I think tomorrow I'm going to get out the, the uh, collapsible sink and wash my hair. Yeah. And, but I've been washing up every night, um, which I'm going to do pretty soon. No, I'm going to wash up, and um, I'm going to go to bed pretty soon. Yeah, I'm having fun, and this is what's going on. Can I tell you a lot about uh, Reno? Uh, just from what I read, okay, because I haven't really been out and about. The time that I was out and about, it seemed really cool because um, it seemed like a good uh, plan 
the every that the planning of the streets and the highways are really good the way they also were that way in the Vegas area whoever the planner was with the civil engineer that planned whoever does all that with the roads and the highways they do a good job you know so uh, yeah it's easy to get around it's really pretty while you go I did get I will tell you I did get a new holder for my phone and I put it on my window. I don't really like it there because it kind of, I love just, it's like a window to the world out there. So it's right there. But it will help me do, and it will hold it still. It won't be like jiggling, you know. And it will hold still so I can get some more um, filming for you um, when, when I go somewhere. So, yeah, that'll be great. I did it all for you. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I'm going to cut this short because I want to add in some of the pictures of the, um, sorry, my eye is just. Probably from being out there. I was laying out on my blanket, and these things are, they're like, they're like that big round, or that big round. And it was like, I could have hit my, my head. I'm going, wow, these things are just falling. Um, but I want to include a couple of videos of the, of the, uh, the Truckee River. Um, and by so, um, you can see that's very serene. Um, it's, it's, it's very cool here. <laughs> I like it. It's 66 degrees here. And last night I had to use my blanket. Uh, yeah, I got to curl up with my blanket over, you know. In Tucson, I had to just lay there with nothing. I couldn't even have a sheet over me. I had to reach over, spray, spray, you know. Yeah, that was to stay alive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but last night I got, and tonight it's going to get really, um, it's going to get really cold tonight. And tomorrow night, I'm really excited. Well, as you can see, look, I've got my turtleneck on and my sleeves. And this morning I had to put over this, I had to put a flannel shirt on. <laughs> I loved it, yeah. I need, yeah, let's face it, I need a haircut. Uh, it's getting to that point. Um, you know, the salons were closed uh, for so long and everything, so, yeah. The wind is really blown out there. I can feel my van kind of moving like this, so, uh, yeah, the wind is really fierce out there. And uh, it was yesterday, too. Okay, that's my update. I love you guys. I, it's not really instructional, sort of giggly, but that's about it. <laughs> I love you guys. 